Right, I've got the uh, tripod here. I'm setting it up in the garage because I want to uh, adjust the cone error on the two OTAs that I've got. And so I want to be able to do that before it actually goes into uh, its final position. It's too hard to adjust the cone error uh, on stars because we're in the southern hemisphere. So it's a lot easier to do it during the daytime. So I'm going to set it up in the, basically in the garage, mount everything up. I'll get the telescopes on later and do the cone error. And then uh, take it to bits and put it put it, put it in its uh, permanent position. So I've taken the two uh, uh, bolts off there. This is the mount head. Obviously you can see it's quite damn large. <coughs> So obviously it's going to be need to be orientated around this way. Oop, wrong way. Be the other way. God, play me. It's basically going to rest on there. Okay, now where are those two bolts that I just had? Bugger me. Oh, there they are. So I'll just put these in here. One on either side. Right, so we've done up these two bolts. I just finger tight at the moment. This particular bar go through here to adjust the height screw mechanism. We want to wind it up. These are loose, by the way. These these nuts uh, are loose as well. So we want to wind it up to about 41, which is about there. Yellow key. We'll do the polar alignment once it's in the um, once it's in the observatory. But in the meantime, just tighten that up. And next thing, the Esmond bolts, nice silver. Screw them in on each side. Very similar to this Celestron setup. Apparently there's a wide range of movement available. We don't need to get this right, it's just it's, we'll do it properly once it's in the it's in the shed, but in the meantime, put it on here. That's tight. Or oh, well, finger tight anyway. That's finger tight. Those particular bolts here, we'll just do those up so she doesn't slip off. Just a bit more than finger tight. Uh, this one here, should wind the bolt into the mount head. I don't know which way it's meant to turn around. Oh, there we go. So that's all tight. That ain't moving. Obviously the uh, Lossman D saddle. Oh, it's spring loaded. Alright, so this is obviously the RA clutch and we've got a deck clutch here as well. It's not tight at the moment. Okay, so that way is tight. That 
sideways loose. People have said you got to be careful of this because sometimes if, if you tighten it up like that it will actually knock against here. So there is suggestion to actually move this so that it doesn't. So that's something to watch out for. Alright, so that's fairly loose. It feels quite stiff actually. And yeah, right. There we go. So we we'll need the counterweight to <laughs> shaft. Big, heavy uh, stainless steel. Looks quite spectacular. We'll go around the front. Obviously, screw in here like this. There we go. And a safety knob on the end of the counterweight. You can take that off. Put a counterweight on. And then we will be able to mount some scopes on there and just do some quick uh, adjustments for cone error. And then we can take it to the observatory and see what happens.